Now, once you say stroke and it's an ischemic stroke, what should be your next question? Right, so you want a major differentiation, is it ischemic or hemorrhagic? No bleed is ischemic. What's your next question? Why did it happen? Is it a thrombotic stroke or is it an embolic stroke? So once you say acute stroke, I want you to say immediately next is what type of stroke? Is it thrombotic or embolic? Now how can you tell the difference between the two? If it's embolic, would it be multiple different spots? But if it's embolic, imagine you had a clot sitting in your heart. You think it's only going to shoot to the ACA? It's going to shoot all over the place. So typically if it's embolic, you'll have multiple spots, multiple different regions, right? Embolic though, you form a clot somewhere else and then you shoot it to your brain. So what is more exciting? Embolic. Because sometimes you cannot find where the emboli is coming from. But when you think about it, what would affect more anterior circulation? What would affect more posterior circulation? Does embolic like more anterior or posterior? It prefers posterior. Embolic is typically going to prefer your posterior circulation. Because when you look at your circular villus, right, what forms your anterior circulation? Internal carotid, which gives you anterior cerebral and middle cerebral arteries. What forms your posterior circulation? You have vertebral arteries, which comes and forms your basilar artery. Where does your vertebral arteries come from? Your subclavian. It comes from your subclavian arteries. So whenever you have a clot in your heart, it tends to travel to subclavian more and go more posterior. So a lot of times, whenever you have an embolic stroke, it's going to be posterior. But it does not mean it can go into it can. I'm saying, think of posterior when it happens to right so whenever it comes to stroke after saying the patient's got ischemic stroke next big question thrombotic embolic right and you're done